Okay, okay guys, so we are um, we are in intermission and um, the show we're seeing right now is called Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812. actually um, is one that we bought just at the TKTS booth. So we had we had kind of um, been intentional in seeing the first three shows that we saw while we were here. Um, Hamilton, Jarevan Hansen, and Amelie. Yeah. And then today we kind of left a chance, and also because we can't afford any more full price tickets. So and we went down we're going to gonna see this, we're going to see the Messed Up Beast Club. The play that I think we're gonna tonight we're gonna see the play that goes wrong. But again, we, we kind of left today to chance because um, we just needed to do the day of half price tickets. So we went down to the booth. This was the show that we thought looked the best and the most interesting. We've been walking by the, this theater um, all week because it's right by our apartment. And I have to say, um, this was a very pleasant surprise. So first, what I want to do um, is. Um, is show you guys the theater because this this says a lot about the place. So let me turn this around. Okay, so as you can see, they have transformed this theater into this sort of theater in the round. There are tables, um, there are like little stages everywhere, um, balconies. Um, So it's sort of this kind of theater in the round experience with you've got singers and dancers all around you, behind you, to the side. And then they throw bread at you. Yeah, we're super interactive. They threw bread at the beginning, these little donuts. Um, and so it's it's quite a spectacle. There's a lot going on. It's very interesting. There's been confetti and strobe lights and um, all that kind of stuff. The strobe lights were horrible. The strobe lights were a lot. Were a lot. Um, so anyway, that part has been really cool. Like I said, it's, just, it's a big spectacle. It's a lot to see. Um, in terms of the play, I will say that this is more mature, and I don't mean content-wise, although that's a little bit true. And also, it's only songs. It's, it's actually, I would say this is more of an operetta. Um, there's no talking, but that was true in, in some of the other plays we've seen. Um, but the music, the music is very sophisticated. Um, it's atonal, it's amelodic, um, it's operatic, um, a lot of minor keys, a lot of dissonance. Um, it's definitely not like hummable tunes. Um, it's, it is, it's very sophisticated music. What were you going to say, India? And so, we're right by the guy that's playing piano, that's where the guy plays piano and bells. Oh yeah, that's kind of fun. India plays bells and bands, so we are right above um, the balcony where the, the keys and bells are being played. Um, anyway, like I said, it's, it's a rather sophisticated show musically. Um, the plot is based on a, a passage from War and Peace. So the plot is a little mature and actually a little bit confusing. There's tons of characters. If you've ever read, read Tolstoy or Dostoevsky, it's very similar. Um, there's a, in the program, there's like a family, a family map of who all the characters are. If you've ever read some of those old Russian classic novels, um, I've always had to do that kind of like a timeline to figure out who's who. Um, and you know, it's the classic like people in love and affairs and um, all that kind of stuff. So the plot's a little mature. I think both girls at intermission were like, I don't totally understand what's going on. Um, but I will say there's just, there's enough happening all around us that it has kept their interest. Oh yeah, here's the, kind of family tree. Um, so there's there's enough going on that, that has kept their interest, but I would say um, that this is probably not like a great pick for kids. Um, I have to say, this is a singer's show. This is a choir nerd's heaven. Like, I started crying in the first song just because of the beauty of the vocals. Josh Groban is in it. I probably should have led with that. Josh Groban is in this. He's the lead. And his vocals are just incredible. Um, there's a huge cast, um, and they, you know, their vocals are just amazing. And They've done a couple the choir, choir type numbers that are just so good. And someone in the cast has pink armpit hair. Yeah, there is a girl in the cast with pink dyed armpit hair, long pink dyed armpit hair. So there you go. And um, she had to bleach it. 
she had to have bleached it first. That had to have hurt. We talked about the pain of that. Um, anyway, yeah, it's definitely, it's a singer show. It's, I mean, it's almost an opera. It's very, has a very Russian feel. Um, you know, they've definitely kind of transformed this into a bar in Moscow. Um, but like I said, musically, it's just, it's not, it's not super hummable, melodic music. Um, at least it, it won't get stuck in your head. It will not get stuck in your head. No. No numbers will get stuck in your head. It's, it's, it's mature. Um, are you, what do you think? What do, you, do you like it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you do? It's not as good as any of the other places yeah. I've seen, but yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's, I mean, the scenery, the costumes, all of that is really amazing. And, and the, I mean, the vocals, the quality, all of it is really good. But I'm talking in terms of kids. I, I do believe that my kids are the only kids in this theater. I, I don't even see teenagers here. So, yeah, it's a little bit, I don't even know the word. It's a little sophisticated. So, unfortunately, there's no booster seats. Oh, yeah, there aren't. No booster seats it's in the theater. It's hard out here. Um, but anyway, it's a great show. I'm actually really glad we picked it. I think, you know, it's it's introducing them to kind of a new genre. Um, if, if I was going to take them to an opera or an operetta, this would kind of be a nice introduction. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Uh, all right, we've got to go because I think our intermission's almost over.